This sounds a little bit quirky, but when I was six years old, I actually saw a documentary about pioneers in microbiology, and they had this cool petri dish with some fuzzy-looking fungi producing antibiotics and killing bacteria, and I wrote in my diary that I wanted to be a microbiologist. And funny enough, much of what I do now is still those petri dishes and the visual interactions between organisms. I think I have to uh, mention two advices. One from my mother, um, who told me that I could be a woman and a professional as long as I focus on the quality of time rather than the quantity of time. And the other one from my father that always told me never to take any shortcuts, to always, whatever I do, to the best of my ability and always beyond expectations. Well, uh, I'm actually repeating the, repeating the experiment with my six-year-old right now, and he's just to leave uh, fruit to rot and, and just, you know, try to get some of the fuzzy stuff to look under this very old microscope that I had. Um, and, yeah, we're doing the same thing. We have a pear and an orange, a little bit funny looking right now in the kitchen. I, I never get bored. Um, there is always so much to learn. Um, it's, it's like a continuous training and stimulation. I don't think I could do a nine-to-five job, you know, just doing the same thing all the time. So it's a little bit of masochism, I guess. I think the most important thing is to be open-minded, and you can interpret the evidence based on the tools that you have but you should never, uh, you know, think of absolute conclusions and always keep, you know, uh, doors open for other explanations. To me, those are the most important, and I think that's the reason why I became an environmental microbiologist, because you see the tangible effects of what you do outside the lab. Uh, we tend to do everything day and night in the laboratory, not, you know, becoming social. But when you see the applications and you see the public impact, it makes all sense and it, you know, gives you the motivation to go on. I think uh, I've had very good mentors and also anti-mentors. And, you know, both types have been very influential because I had really role models that I can follow, and at the same time, I don't want to forget, you know, where I come from and, and just do things of the people that, you know, I personally didn't like or agree with their actions. I think what surprised uh, people the most is the fact that we are studying organisms that are able to immobilize uh, uh, toxic uh, metals like uranium. Um, everybody is so impressed with the nuclear disasters and how powerless we feel. And here we have these little bugs, um, you know, tackling the problem and just doing it and showing us that it's possible. My laptop. I've done it in a fire drill, so I know I will do it again. And my coffee. I went back for my coffee, too. <laughs>